So I'm here with Kira McDonald. Um, she's a gallerist and she works for So Fine um, Art Editions. And um, just for the purpose of this interview, Kira, do I have your permission to record this interview? Yes, you do. Um, and just going back to before the pandemic, how would you have made most of your sales through the gallery or through the website? Um, I think both because we're quite a busy gallery and we're in a busy center, the footfall that we have, we're, we're quite lucky to actually have a lot of people come in and um, everything is able to be handled through browsers so people can actually browse through things and actually look through things. So when you get talking to people, the chances of them buying after that, when you explain what they're looking at, like that was quite high. Um, but we've always had the website and through the website, there is an online link to our email so anyone who wants to inquire about things a lot of things might not be able to be purchased through the website actually no this was before um so anything that might not be in the gallery or they want to know about they'll um ask through email um and then if we don't have the stock we'd be able to email the artist to be able to get in the print so it kind of cuts out whether if they come in we have we have it prepared like we'll it just it cuts a bit of their time in case we don't actually have something um, but yeah, no, definitely, I'd say both, Pre both anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. And um, I was looking at your website and I can see you have a lot of artists represented on there. Um, so do you use any other platforms to promote or sell their work, like Artsy or like Instagram or any of them? Um, we don't use Artsy. We definitely use Instagram. And I find that I have had um, anyone who follows us actually inquire about things if I just put like a picture up on the story or on the actual feed and um, generally people do a, um, reply which is great and so I have made a few sales through that um, so it's just it's another addition I guess it's not something that we'll really focus on but it definitely it's definitely needed yeah okay perfect and have you noticed an increase in the younger demographic purchasing art at all um I feel like our demographic is probably 30 and over. Um, I think the younger generation just don't think they can buy art. I just don't think they think it's accessible. Although I have had quite young people buy them or um, buy our prince's gifts. Um, so I'd say 30 and over. Although collectors, I'd say, are younger and younger now. Um, but yeah, no, I'd say at least 30 and over. Okay, perfect. And so during the pandemic, would you say you saw, saw a noticeable increase in the sales online? Um, thankfully, we actually did. Um, I think because people weren't able to leave their homes and they actually saved a lot of money, um, well, our clients anyway, um, they were actually able to, instead of going on holidays, they were able to invest in their own home and invest in art. So people did come back to us through email and Thankfully, we were able to work through the pandemic and meet people outside safely. Um, well, when we were allowed to. Yeah, so through the pandemic, maybe one or two months was quite slow. And then we were kept very, very busy, maybe even busier when we were open and in, in a different way. Yeah, um, a lot of online inquiries. And um, thankfully, we were able to keep working. Yeah. OK, perfect. And um, so that increase then has that sustained now um, since the lockdown? Um, in a way, yes, I think a lot of our clients came back to us Um online sales did stay steadily. And then the fact that I think through the pandemic, we did meet, miss that in person interaction. So as things were able to open up and as more tourists came in, our football then eventually increased. Um, but thankfully, due to the online platform that that definitely kept us going that was but the pandemic was actually the main reason that we went that way and um, so people did have the option then to click and buy online and we were able to post to them that's all through the website isn't it all through the website yeah and um, so you would you get much interest from international buyers or collectors yeah definitely um we ship internationally um we'll either use dhl we'll make crates and um, we've used dpd we usually use registered post um, but we've had inquiries from like South Africa and um, we've done US um, yeah we've we do try and ship everywhere we can yeah so it's not like a huge amount of our sales but it does definitely grow and um, as more tourists come in they take our card and they're able to say oh yeah they'll pass that yeah. on kind of thing yeah. a lot of Americans which is great 
yeah so like how would they usually connect with the gallery then if they're abroad like would it be email or social media usually yeah usually through email people like to contact we've had a few online sales as well um i can't really say which is more but generally people want to know some more information so if they don't call us they'll either contact us through email and we can send images that way um i guess it's more they want to know that it's a legit business maybe so they want that kind of conversation first yeah. before they just decide to go and buy something um yeah no so i'd say email or phone call okay um i know you said you said you you sell a lot to the website and um, do you use uh, sorry do you need do you think there's any need for the use of a third party platform like artsy in ireland um, I'd say Ireland definitely needs something like that. I think it would bring us to a wider audience, but the art scene in Ireland is just generally quite small. And um, for us personally, as just a small commercial gallery. We just don't have, I just, I don't know. I just don't think it would really work for us. I don't think it would really help us any better. Um, something maybe similar towards it, but like, artsy in London is fairly big so the fact that we're so close to this country that is just like the art scene is so much bigger like the difference yeah. is kind of mad um yeah so I think tapping into something like that would be good but I think it would take only one gallery doing it maybe it, 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 we all need to kind of do it to make a difference yeah 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 perfect well thank you for your time and I wish you, thank you. all the success thanks very much thank you